today's world is intensely visual, so we see images all over the place in advertising, in social media, and it's really important, and I think now more than ever perhaps, um, to be able to understand, interpret and describe these images. I suppose the central question of history of art is why do things look the way they do? In terms of careers, art history can open up a whole range of different paths, everything that you can go into if you study in the arts and humanities. But with history of art specifically, you also have the opportunity to enter a world of art-related roles. So for example, museums and galleries, heritage organisations or auctioneers. On our course we see many students who are really passionate about art and the built environment and really want to know more about that and feed that love of um, the, visual, the visual arts and culture. Um, we also see mid-career professionals, people who are looking to build up their specific knowledge and skills in subject areas that are less well known to them. ICE is a perfect place to study history of art because we have a dedicated teaching space which is a historic building. It's a Tudor mansion which has been built and expanded upon over the centuries and many original collections of historic artworks including paintings, murals, uh, landscape gardens and of course beautiful architecture. The History of Art at ICE has really strong connections with the History of Art Department at the University of Cambridge. We have many tutors from the department who also teach at ICE and a strong relationship of exchange. We also have excellent access to the University of Cambridge Museums. There are more museums uh, in one square mile in Cambridge than anywhere else in the world and particularly good history of art collections uh, both at the Fitzwilliam Museum and Kettle's Yard and we use a lot of um, those collections and objects within our teaching. Mm -hmm.